Think hitting useful gold sounds impossible? What if I told you I got it in just two months? No money, no courses, no magic. This is real and it's repeatable, even if you're self-studying. In this video, I'm breaking down four simple, powerful methods that took me from being stuck in bronze to useful gold. Now, I didn't learn from some overpriced course. I figured it out by testing, failing, and doing it myself. And what I'm sharing could shave months off your journey. So don't just passively watch, take notes. All right, let's jump in. Method one, target, drill, and apply. This is how to truly master a topic. In Usico, there are many different topics and ideas that you must master. Here's one trick I use to literally double my learning efficiency. I'll show you in a second. First of all, we must learn the topics from the ground up. A website I really recommend to learn topics from is usico.guide. It's got curated problems lists, clear topic breakdowns, and it's free. You should 100% be using it. But here's the thing, it gives you the map, not the GPS. What most people struggle with is how to actually study these topics efficiently. What you should first be doing is first learning the bare bones of the topic. It's very important to get familiar with how to quickly implement the algorithm needed and also to get familiar with the reasoning and the ideas behind this topic. Next, you must solve problems of this topic. This helps you recognize the topic and recognize patterns and then also quickly implement it. Remember, it is important to keep in mind that you will not understand these topics 100% the first time you do it. Now, just because you've studied this topic and you've solved problems on this topic does not mean that you have completely mastered it. It is extremely important to just solve problems in general, problems that you do not know the topic of, so that you can recognize when you should actually be using what you just learned. For this, make sure you're solving by difficulty and not by topic. For these practice problems, I would recommend using code forces and using a difficulty of anywhere between 1000 and 1600. And method two, let's just say it's the silent killer of Usico progress. This method will greatly improve your problem solving efficiency and also your mental ability. So stick around, you'll thank me later. Method two, ego free solving. Okay, listen, if you wanna have a truly productive problem solving session, you have to stop problem solving with your ego and instead move on quickly. What I mean by this is that if you spend a good amount of time, say 30 minutes, on a question and you really have no clue where to start or no clue how to think about it, just skip the question, read the editorial, learn from it, and move on quickly. It is not worth your time to spend three hours on one problem. Instead, use your time efficiently to solve more problems so that way you can expose yourself to more different types of problem solving techniques. Remember, you can always come back to these questions later to try them again. This shortcut saved me weeks of frustration and helped me learn five times faster. Now we have explained the two foundations of improving in Usico, learning new topics and solving problems. But how should your day-to-day -day schedule really look like? Step one, create a reliable schedule you can stick to. To improve, you must invest two things, time and focus. One without the other will never work. This is why I recommend writing out your own schedule. Keep your schedule consistent. This way you can really build a habit of investing a good amount of time every single day to focus on doing problems. In addition, when you are doing problems, it is very important to not be distracted. It is much better to do a smaller amount of time being laser focused than spending a lot of time and your mind being all over the place. If you really can't focus, take a break and just come back to it later. Step two, use your allocated time wisely. Now that you've created a schedule and you know every single day that you're gonna be focused for a certain amount of time, how should you be using this time? This is where most people mess up. They either binge tutorials or brute force problems all day. You should be keeping a roughly 70-30 split. 70% 70 solving, 30% learning new stuff. If you're stuck too often, stop and study the topics that you feel you've really been tripped up on. And if you're learning a lot of things but not really improving, then solve more problems. You don't need perfect ratios. You just need to know what phase you're in and what you need to do to improve. At the end of the day, everyone has the same amount of time to spend, 24 hours in a day. So it is crucial that you are focused and you spend your time efficiently. Now, method four literally separates people who excel in competitions and people who crumble to the pressure. Now, if you don't use method four, it's like baking a cake without the oven. All that hard work and no results. What I'm talking about is simulation under pressure. You know the saying that goes, you don't rise to the occasion, you sink to the level of your training? Well, yeah, it's true. And it's what stops so many people from reaching the next division. Simulate the real thing, real problems, real timer, 
and real pressure. Maybe in bronze you can get away with doing a few problems here and there, but by the time you get to silver, you have to lock in and start practicing like it's the real thing. This will train you to make better decisions under pressure, like when to skip problems, when to debug, and how to pace yourself. Thinking clearly under pressure is what many struggle to do, and it's what could separate you. Besides doing past Yusuko problems, Code Forces also hosts competitions often that you should definitely be participating in. If you learned something, consider subscribing, and comment watching if you're still here. I'll know that you're really serious about improving. Now enough watching, follow the steps in this video and start grinding.